Hey, it's Coach Maggie here, and I want to ask you this question. What is the most stressful job there is? I'll give you a second. The most stressful job. Now, we might think policemen, firemen, and yes, those are very much so. But at one time, they were saying that air traffic controllers, that was the most stressful job. You think of it, they are having to determine which planes land, making sure there's not an accident in the sky. That would be horrific. So you can just imagine the pressure that is on them to be sharp, to know what's going on, to be able to see, to read all of those different um, instruments. And really, they're holding people's lives in their hands. But our minds are like our air traffic controllers. Our brain is thinking constantly, it doesn't go to sleep. It's constantly thinking of what's going on, when to breathe, when to close our eyes. There is so much we don't even have to think about. Blinking, breathing, all of those things, moving our fingers, all of those things are controlled. And God has equipped us in an amazing way. And sometimes when people are sick or, or an accident and suddenly it's like they forget and they forget to eat, they forget to do things, they forget how to do things. And so our brains are so vitally important. And one of the things that we talk about in Restore Your Health Academy is getting the brain to basically, we're retraining the brain, we're retraining our minds. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. Because so often we are still living, we're trapped inside this thought of maybe how we were as a child our past, it is so hard to leave past behaviors, old bad habits. And part of it is, is the brain has that memory and it's not letting go. And I've heard it mentioned very similar to a file cabinet. You know, we just squeeze all of this stuff in. And one of the things that we need to do is open up that file cabinet and with the Lord's help begin to go through and pull out those files that are completely useless. Many times we are carrying, again, memories of the past, thoughts of things that we've done, didn't do, ways we were wounded and hurt. And it's not to minimize them at all, but it's to say, this is not gonna control me anymore. One of the things that stops us the most is limiting beliefs. I can't do this. I don't know how. This is too hard. It's too late. I've tried that. Think how often we go through the course of a day saying negative things. We don't think of it that way, but we're saying, oh, that's too hard. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to like that. I know that won't work. It's too late. All of those things become excuses. And our brains are amazing. And our brains want to protect us. So if we feel something is hard, we tend to immediately, it's like the brain's like, oh, we don't want to go there. Just like we would do for a child. If we knew they were getting into what we thought was a dangerous predicament, we might say, oh, no, no, don't go there. Oh, don't try that. Don't go there. Don't do that. And that's what our brain does. And so we have to get to the place where we start taking control. And we say, it's okay. I haven't done this before. Or maybe it is something we have done. But we're ready to try again. To give ourselves grace. To say, this time it's going to be better. Do you realize when we have tried things again and again? If we think of it, I think it was Henry Ford. It's like, okay, I've tried a hundred things. But now, that's a hundred things I know that don't work. Might have been Thomas Edison, but one of those people. And so think about it. The more, yes, we've tried things and they didn't work, but guess what? Now that's one more thing I know won't work. So let's try something else. So what are things that you've tried? Whether it's to get healthy, to get organized, to save money, get out of debt, restore a relationship, all of those things. You've tried things. Acknowledge, 
okay, that didn't work. But that doesn't mean there's not an answer out there. In Restore Your Health Academy, it's about reframing a lot of different things and looking at life differently. And one of the keys is what I talked about yesterday, and that is when we bring into the factor of God. So often we're trying, we may be a believer, you may be a believer, but have you ever pulled into the equation, okay, what can I do, what changes can I make if I invite God into this equation, instead of me trying all these things and scrambling, treading water. And so Restore Your Health Academy is about pulling all those things in. Again, like I said yesterday, working on that foundation, really being comfortable, learning to be comfortable with who's on the inside. God didn't make a mistake. And yes, we have messed up. Yes, I'm not where I need to be. But with his help, I'm getting closer. And then we start working on the mind. Okay, what are those limiting beliefs I need to let go of? It's time. Let's, let's put them down. Okay, let's bury those things. And let's tap into the possibilities of what's ahead. Now, tomorrow I'll get more into just how, when we have those things lined up, how we can begin to start working on Okay, let's start making changes to the outside. Again, it's like redoing a house, rebuilding, reconstructing. You know, you see these shows and so often, you know, the architect or whoever, they're looking and they're like, I see the possibilities. That's how I feel. I see the possibilities in people that often they don't see in themselves. And while, yes, you could go and put new siding and do all the fancy stuff. But if you've not really gone deeper, worked on the foundation, checked, are these studs strong enough to hold this house? Then let's face it, you have to make sure that we're building up so that we're able to go forth and do the things, make those changes, become the person God intended us to be. So I hope that um, you will consider. There's a link. Check out the page. There's lots of good information. And begin to ask, is this something that could make a difference in my life? So tomorrow I'll come back talking about more of the practical inside things that are going to be in the program that are new this year that I'm really super excited about. So again, think about my mind. How am I doing? Go through the rest of this day and ask, do I tend to sell myself short? Do I tend to not give myself enough credit? We want to change that. So till tomorrow, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.